Hey there, LEGO fans. It looks like we have another really cool release from LEGO Ideas line with this typewriter set. Kit number 21327 at 2,079 pieces. And this is looking very interesting because apparently every key has a mechanical function. Linking to the back, making it slide, make that hammer move, feed real paper through it, and that all sounds really cool. So let's get this typewriter unboxed, get it built, so we can have a closer look at all these cool features. Typewriter's finished, and their ideas kit is done, and this is another solid example of why I'm such a big fan of the ideas line. LEGO does a really good job at releasing a wide variety of fantastic sets every year, but the world is full of creative people, and there's so many amazing mocks out there, and I'm really happy that LEGO has an avenue for these mocks to make it into production, onto the store shelves, and into our homes. And as such, here we have a pretty cool old school typewriter. Having a keyboard with 33 keys, 13 hammers, one ribbon tape, and the whole mechanism for feeding the paper through and sliding ever so slightly to the left as each character on the keyboard is pressed. Diving in for a closer look, starting with the keyboard, we have, as I said, 33 keys, but only 28 of them are actually mechanically linked. The two shift keys, shift lock, backspace, and the spacebar don't actually do anything. They can each be pressed down and they spring back up nicely, but other than that, they're just for show. Whereas the other 28 keys, all the letters of the alphabet, plus the question mark key, period, and comma key are all linked up to the mechanism which A, sends the hammer flying up, and B, shifts the paper over to the side as you type, which we'll get to in just a little bit. Up on top, over on the right side, there's a little switch which doesn't actually do anything, but it represents the one on the typewriter which would allow you to choose the color of ink you'll be using. Black, red, or a combination of the two. Up on top, this typewriter has 13 hammers. The six on the left and on the right don't actually do anything, whereas the one in the center is mechanically linked to the keys. So as you're typing away, that center hammer will be sent up to the red and black ribbon, where we'll use our imagination to pretend that we're actually typing. Down in front, just meet the spacebar, we have the first of the two stickers, this one simply saying system, which I'm pretty sure is a reference to LEGO's system at play. 
which we see again in the sticker all in the back, where it clearly says System at Play. And also, just beat that, it says SG, which is the initials of the creator of this set, and just to the right of that, it says NGUOYD, which my understanding is this is an acronym put here by the creator of the set, which reads, Never Give Up On Your Dreams. I'm not too sure what the rest of the text back here is about, so if any of you know, please put it in the comments below. And now to a little demo of the functionality, where you can see here, by pressing the keys, the hammer in the center gets flown up to the top, and the little paper carousel slides a little bit over to the side. And after several presses, it'll slid as far to the left as it can. And just like a regular typewriter, you'd have to manually slide it back over to the right, and you're all set to start on the next line. And what typewriter is complete if it can actually handle some paper, which this one definitely does. Dropping it in from the top, and using a little knob on the right, will feed the paper through. And then we have that little bar, which you use to hold the paper down, as it was, again, on a real typewriter. Finally, for that final little touch to give it a little more display value, this kit also comes with this little booklet. Within, written in 43 different languages, there's 43 copies of a letter, which you can leave sitting within a typewriter, completing the look and putting that nice final detail in there, which really suits it. I'd also like to circle back for a minute and say how I really appreciate how this letter comes in so many languages, which is pretty great considering that this kit is sold on the world stage. Now, when it comes to play and display, I think it's pretty clear that this kit was made to be displayed, as the play value I find to be pretty low. While one could certainly pretend to be typing out a letter on this fantastic LEGO keyboard, I personally don't think that that's going to be entertaining for all that long. Whereas, as a display piece, I find that this striking little set is just at home in a LEGO showroom as a formal living room. And for those discerning guests who can pick out that this is not a real typewriter, it's quite a bit of fun to show off these features and impress. As to parts to reuse, there's a few items in here that are worth mentioning. First of all, and most obviously, we have all these keys on the keyboard. Then within, we have four of these Technic suspension pieces that I haven't seen before. Part number 6302623. And finally, the typewriter comes in this one shade of green, which is a green we don't really see much in LEGO Universe, mainly because LEGO has mostly been against making military vehicles. But for anyone who is really looking to do so, this is a large collection of that color. And finally, a few little notes about the build. Maybe it's obvious to you, maybe it's not, but the internal components of this are almost entirely Technics. So if you're not into the intricate construction that comes with the Technic system, you might want to give that a consideration before forking over cash for this lovely kit. And when it came to the assembling of all the keys, there was actually quite a bit of repetition involved. So if that kind of thing bothers you, it's something else to keep in mind, but personally, I think it's well worth it. So my bottom line would be that this kit's not so great for play, pretty awesome for display, definitely targeted to the A-Falls out there, and I'd wager that if you're considering buying this kit, you already know it's made for display, and I'd extend the bet to say you've probably already got a spot picked out for it. <laughs>